Today, we're going to talk about how to become a billionaire. In honor of Forbes billionaires list, it's richest people in the world. So, that's what we're going to cover. Bill Gates is down to second, by the way. You've probably heard this. Uh, Carlos Slim Hilu from Mexico is, is in first and Warren Buffett in third. So it goes 53.5 billion, 53 billion for Bill Gates, and Warren Buffett's at 47 billion. Not too shabby. But what I wanted to cover is the guy that's at 136th. Well, Steve Jobs is at 136th, the Apple founder. But there's another guy named John Menard that's 136th. I'm really good friends with his daughter, Molly, and I get to see inside the world of that family and how it works and how strange it is in comparison to my family, which grew up almost poor and then rose to middle class by the time I got to middle school and high school. So it was it's an extraordinary difference. I mean, with Molly, I've been in places where it was only me, her, a couple friends, Peyton Manning, a d guy from Desperate Housewives who apparently is the gardener on the show, I don't watch it, and a couple other celebrity uh, basketball players and football players from the Indianapolis Pacers and Colts. So I, s I get to travel in that world quite often and it's interesting, especially being an entrepreneur, I like that sort of world anyway. Uh, so it's interesting to me. But since it's called How to Become a Billionaire, not what it's like to be a billionaire, uh, I wanted to tell you about John Menard's story. If you've ever been in the Midwest, you know the shopping uh, home improvement chain of stores, Menards. Well, he's the founder and 100% owner of Menards. And how he got started is he just started building pole sheds and then working out from there. So he'd build pole, sh build pole sheds and then he realized, well, I could just sell some lumber as well. So he started selling lumber and then he started selling other things like hammers, nails, things like that. So then he started this for a store. Uh, it was called like Menards, uh, you know, uh, I can't remember exactly what it was called. Something to the effect of Menards home improvement store or do-it-yourself store or something like that um, and then eventually he built up the size of his stores and then just shortened it to Menards and that's what it is today now they have like 260 stores across like 15 Midwestern states but that would have made him rich but what made him a billionaire and he is at five and a half billion right now. At the peak of his net worth, he was 7.3. That was like three years ago, right before the recession. Uh, so clearly, being a home improvement chain, his net worth went down to, it was four billion, and then it rolls back up. Now it's five and a half. Next year, it'll probably be back up to seven or so. But Steve Jobs and him tied, so pretty good company. But how he became a billionaire is he tapped into something that people weren't already doing. Up until the point where he started uh, having success with his home improvement stores, people largely had other people do their home improvement stuff for them. They would hire a construction worker and have that guy add an addition to the house or build new cabinets or something like that. Well, John Menard's philosophy was people can do it themselves. So if I supply the equipment and people that could teach them what equipment they need, they could theoretically do this stuff themselves. And now you know there's a whole movement of people who are do-it-yourself guys. I mean, Bob Vila had a successful TV show showing people how to do it themselves. And the home improvement chains uh, like Home Depot, Lowe's, and Menards all tapped into that and became huge powerhouses in the home improvement market. So, how to become a billionaire? For one, right place at the right time. But two, it's foreshadowing what society is going into. Clearly, he knew that society was going to become a do-it-yourself uh, sort of society. And he was right. Uh, and he's really succeeded from it. So whatever your market is, what, where is it going to go? See if you could position yourself in front of it. Because it's never, you're never going to win if you 
try to tap into something that's already here. Like you see so many iPad um, knockoffs right now, but clearly the guy who's winning most is Steve Jobs, who, whose company created the thing. The guys who come later are just knockoffs. Kind of like the iPhone came first, then there's the, the Android and, and other phones like that. But it's the iPhone that kills everyone in sales. Uh, so Apple's really winning in that in that department. So whatever your market is, clearly this video isn't about really becoming a billionaire. It's about foreshadowing where your market's going. Uh, becoming a billionaire, there's about 8,000 other steps involved. But it was a good headline. Maybe it got you to watch this. Um, hope you guys, uh, hope it made you think. And pick up this episode. It's good. It makes you think. Uh, it's good to think high-minded. So, see you guys next week.